You know, I'm going to tell you something. The media is just completely biased. They're completely biased. And, um, you know, people like Bill O'Reilly like to sit there on Fox News, and, and there's people on CNN and MSNBC and CNBC and ABC and NBC and all the rest of the cable television network and mainstream radio talk shows, etc. They like to sit there and say, well, you know, a third party can't win. Because And if you vote for a third party, you'll decipher votes and this and that and the other thing. And all the while, they never give any of the third party candidates any particular coverage like they have some form of agenda. And, and the problem with the corporate media is that they're owned by the off, same offshore banks and, and offshore banks and the same mega banks that own most of Europe. They have almost complete control over the United States. And for centuries, the media has been biased and supportive of, of things towards their agenda. And anything that goes against their agenda, they're not going to give any coverage to. So like people like Sarah Palin, M Michelle Bachman, and all the rest of them, they'll go out there and support them because they like their, their agenda, and that's what they support. And also people like Mitt Romney and Herman Cain and all the rest of them. When people like Ron Paul and Gary Johnson are basically flipped the middle bird, when they run under either the Democratic Party or the Republican Party, the media just turns around, excludes them from debates, doesn't give them much coverage, and they treat them almost the same way as they would with third-party candidates. Except it's a little easier for third-party candidates to not get any coverage at all from the media. And so the media is completely biased. The media is not to be trusted. And, of course, this is Michael Long, and um, thank you for joining me. Appreciate it.